Look to the horizon. Like a plague, here comes the Orange Star Army. Not content with their own lands, they've come to steal mine. Never, I say. Never! Kanbei's elite forces shall drive them back. Alright, uh, is Kanbei a rise one of the special ones? Oh, it actually is. I need to beat this in eight turns or fewer. Alright, so Gold Comet flares up when Orange Star crosses paths with Kanbei. I think for this one, I'm just gonna close my eyes and just pick whoever gets selected for this. So I'll go here. Let's roll. Go with Max. All right, let's see if we can actually do this in eight turns or less. I was just planning on passing through Gold Comet, but Kanbei's elite forces spotted us before we reached the border. This is bad. Uh. Kanbei's elite forces? Yep, according to our intel, they're the best trained troops in the region. The high equipment costs and salaries per soldier must be make them awfully hard to maintain. maintain. I've heard of them before. Kanbei's supposed to be the reason no one messes with the little, that little country. Come on! But still, there's no way he's going to beat me. Let's go get him. All right, no Falco War, thankfully, but we got a lot of units between us and Kanbei. And Kanbei is a pretty good CO. The leader of Gold Comet, originally named the Yellow Comet, but it was changed for this game's purposes, uh, who has a soft spot for his daughter. His superior units are full of fighting spirit, yet they come at a cost. Units deployed at 20% cost, but gain plus 20 firepower and defense, so... High risk, high reward, his troops are very expensive, but hey, the, the extra firepower and defense is well worth it. His hits are, are Sonya, his daughter, and his misses are computer because he is technologically illiterate. The CO powers morale boost, combat units gain plus 20 firepower and plus 10 defense, so already powerful units get even more powerful. So we need to make the push. We got a couple of rocket units, we got a bunch of regular tanks, thankfully. Two medium tanks, artillery, mechs, and infantry. If we play max right, we could actually beat this in uh, eight turns or less. Though I am going to need to strategically place my rockets and artillery because since we have max, it's not going to really go well for us. Let's take into account. We'll use our mediums to take out his rocket defense. And then hopefully hit his tanks when they come to retaliate. I'll put you right there. And I'll put you right there. I'll hide you behind the tank for an extra bit in case he decides to go for the light tank and not the medium tank. I'll put you right there as an extra layer of defense, although I probably should have hit you in the forest to protect the medium instead. Alright, so long as he doesn't attack from the front, which I'm guessing he's probably going to, the tank is somewhat covered. right for the EPC. I'm kind of surprised he's not going for the tanks. Yeah, Kanbei, it's easy to see that your soldiers are really good when they fight against something that doesn't fight back. And Kanbei's actually being kind of stupid. Oh, I'm actually liking... Combi Steam in this. It's actually really good. I always like Combi Steam even in the original, but at the same time, just like the more like 
Uh, what would be the good terminology for it? I guess the more Eastern influence, like the 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 flute and such, it just really sells it how good this is. Ah, damn, he got out of range. All right then. Well, let's drop the mechs off in here first. And let's hit his tanks. We'll open up with the mediums so that way they don't take as much damage and then we'll finish them off with the lights. What I should probably do is fall back and let the rockets just like hit his mediums back there. I probably should put you in front of the artillery because now the artillery is kind of exposed. All right, there we go. Artillery is now somewhat covered, although I'm afraid they might get taken out. So I'm going to move my mechs up here. And we'll move the infantry down there to counter the infantry that he's sending over here. Hopefully I can get a max force ready so we can really bring on the pain to combat units. Although he's about ready to hit us hard. Comet will show you the true meaning of strength. Oh boy. I think this is goodbye to our artillery. Yeah. Oh, and our rockets as well. Okay, CD Protection saved it. Thank you. Now it's time. Give up. Max Force. All right, first and foremost, let's soften up those medium tanks. gonna do a whole lot but hey some damage is better than no damage honestly I'm kind of surprised that they changed the gold combat infantry they actually give them helmets now but for like their tank drivers, they they actually have like some of the most varied like headgear. Like the infantry wear helmets, but the artillery wear uh, the cats from the original, and their tankers use the the regular tank helmets from the original Advance Wars. So it's kind of a mixed mesh of like all of their styles and a new style as well. I like it. Let's hit them from the forest. Alright, well, those guys are officially lost. Uh, let's see. 31 to you. Did I at least take out this medium? No. How's about the infantry back here? Nah, alright. 
Well, hopefully I can give them something different to shoot at, but they're probably going to prioritize the rockets. Treating. Yeah, they're gonna prioritize taking out the rockets. These are focused on taking out both of my rockets. And you're not going after my weakened tanks? Alright. No, now that I think about it, Andy might have been a better choice for this because we don't really have a whole lot in terms of ways to heal up. go down swinging against this meteor. Not, not even a scratch. I guess we can knock this down to five at least. Going after my rockets. And then you're going after the max. Surprise the stronger ones then go after the max to finish them off, and the weaker one go after the rockets, but alright.
or we can knock him down to one and hopefully it won't do as much damage. Knock him down to a two. Nope. Just a scratch. I think our light should be able to finish him off then. Yeah, they will. those guys off. Alright, well we're definitely gonna need to replay this if we want to get the the day eight run. And he got out of range because he knew I was going to go for a mountain attack. Right, for the most part, I'd rather focus on just getting the mission done first and foremost. And I'll just replay it for the, for the secret level. So for now, let's just do this. And we're just going to focus on getting some of our units healed up. Somewhat evenly matched now. He's going to take a while before he gets that artillery into position. And if I can outmaneuver his tanks, then we got him beat. I just need, really need to focus on getting my tanks healed up first and foremost. Uh, this could be bad. Oh, he doesn't have a seal power yet. Oh, he's getting close. Closer to a max force. Pretty close. capture net. The city should keep it safe for a bit. And I want to have these guys ready to go to, to hit that artillery. Uh, then again, he's probably going to hit there. He's got the city protection, so yeah. We'll just hold out best we can. tough. I don't think we're going to be able to salvage this, unfortunately. I think I kind of outplayed myself. You're 
gonna get hurt. All right, do or die. Yeah, but even with Max Force, so you can barely scratch that thing. Oh, well, if I'm going down, I'm going down swinging. Allow me to show you my strength. Wow, he's even going to finish me off with a morale boost. So that was my fault. I played too offensively and not defensively. Whoops. Preposterous. How could so many of Kambe's great forces be defeated so quickly? Generations of the finest soldiers led into the battlefield by the deepest bonds of allegiance, of, of allegiance and believe that we will prevail, and yet... Kambe won't forget this. Withdraw! Wow, that was tougher than I expected. These guys are good. Yeah, that technique really hit hard. 